never thought I could act before, but I'm good. Rachel, you set this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. Let's recap weeks 5, 10 biggest moments, storylines and takeaways. Coming in at number 10 is Serena's one-on-one -on -one date. After last week's episode ended with trophies smashed, Clayton and Serene's beachy one-on-one -on -one date comes as a breath of fresh air. Now it's a party. <laughs> Serene and Clayton's date was all fun and games, as the pair rode roller coaster and played games at the Boardwalk Amusement Park. Serene said it all felt organic and Clayton agreed in a confessional, stating the day went about as perfect as it could have went. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. At the evening portion of their date, Serene breaks out of her comfort zone and opens up to Clayton, telling him about the losses her family has gone through over the past few years. Having lost her grandmother and her younger cousin recently, she pushes through tears and recalls some of her favorite childhood memories. It's clear she feels comfortable thanks to Clayton's kind eyes and he feels the same. Aww, that's so sweet. Calling it the best day, Serene ends the night with a rose in her hand and Clayton in her arms. It's time for another rose ceremony. The girls in the house are done with Shanae's shenanigans, hoping that tonight will be the end of her reign of terror. Clayton interrupts the girls bickering and pulls the winning bachelor bowl team aside to figure out what happened the night before. He was unaware of Shanae's strong language and trophy throwing and so he goes to talk to her next Tonight. others start getting giddy about the house villain possibly getting the boot but their happiness is short-lived shanae pulls an oscar worthy performance she doesn't sugarcoat what she did choosing to tell the bachelor the truth as she tells it so yeah i didn't feel comfortable going out there but i was still heated and angry in the moment so I walked up to Sierra and Genevieve and I said, keep my name out of your mouths. And then I threw the trophy. Clayton tells Shanae they can't move forward if she continues to behave like that and encourages her to apologize to the group. And Shanae does exactly that, pulling out the waterworks for an emotional apology. I'm really nervous right now, but I wanted to tell you guys. And I'm really sorry. Yeah, it's a little much. <laughs> Don't like that. And I know this has been going on way too far. And I know I've said some things that I didn't mean. But I am really sorry and I hope we can get past this. After successfully fooling almost everyone. I also want to like tell you that I accept your apology. Oh, do you really think so? <laughs> She is rewarded for her good deed with a big ol' smooch from Clayton. I'm glad I did it. And so it all went well. It did go well. Okay. It really did, and I felt it, so it means a lot. Thank you for doing that. At her confessional, Shanae says, Give me the Oscar, give me the Emmy, give me the Golden Globe, and give me that effin' rose. Clayton did just that, awarding Shanae a rose and sending Sierra, Jill, and Lindsay home. And Sierra had this to say. We then had the first international one-on-one -on -one date, and Gabby gets the first one-on-one -on -one in Canada, and all the other women are happy for her, well, except for Shanae, of course. After a helicopter ride over the city, Clayton and Gabby play a little street hockey in the park, and Gabby makes a friend. I feel just like really lucky. I don't think that you click with everyone you meet. Things got more serious at the evening portion of their date as Gabby opened up about feeling pretty insecure in her past relationships. She has struggled with opening up in past relationships, finding it hard to feel deserving of love she talks about her strained relationship with her mother after not having much emotional support from her growing up she says that they pretty much estranged these days and clayton asks if she hopes to make amends in the future gabby was to gabby wants to but says that there's still but says that there's still some healing to be done clayton being the human teddy bear 
that he is, he listens and assures her that she is deserving of love. And the two end their date on a steamy note in a hot tub with Gabby clutching her date rose. It's time for some laughs. Comedy legend and master of roast Russell Peters arrives to help the woman prepare for a Clayton roast date. No topic is off limits as the girls take the chance to poke fun at each other and most notably Shanae. Marlena compares the villain to a herpes outbreak. Damn, Shanae, you ain't here, but I'm still get your ass. <laughs> Shanae is like a herpes outbreak. <laughs> Sarah went after Mara for being a cougar. Um, she's only 30, but whatever. And Mara, in turn, offered Clayton babysitting services should he pick the youngest remaining contestant as his wife. Note Susie and Rachel's edits. Susie got a light-hearted roast edit while Rachel's roast wasn't even shown. During the roast cocktail party, Susie balanced out her roast of Clayton by sharing some things she might like about him, namely his dimples, smile and compassion. While all of his connections are growing, Sarah and Rachel continue to stand out amongst the group. And Rachel gets awarded the group that rose with Clayton telling her, I really don't stop thinking about you. This leaves Marlena feeling particularly hurt as she continued to excel on group dates without reward. Then we get the two on one date teaser. Shanae and Genevieve are both nervous, each looking to take the other down. The rest of the contestants agree that this is much bigger than a normal date, as the outcome could affect how they see Clayton. It's time for the dreaded two-on-one date. The three head out to Niagara Falls and the date is immediately off a rough start as they board the Maid of the Mist and journey straight into turbulent waters. Genevieve looks like she's walking on eggshells trying not to engage with her rival while Shanae is loving every moment, ready to cross another name of her list. Patiently waiting all episode looks like Bachelor Nation will have to wait another week to see which unlucky lady Clayton will send home. I strongly think it's time for Shanae to pack her bags and leave. I have thoroughly enjoyed her dramatic antics. I know this is not the general consensus, but she amused me while I rooted and fell in love with Rachel and Susie. Did you enjoy this episode? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, see you soon. I'm not sorry, hoes. You mean a I need an Oscar award for that performance. Make it.